Hello everyone and welcome back to Storm King's Thunder. Last episode, our party was a cleric down and he was being Jaegered. Tragically, this week, we're also going to be a party member down. However, this time it's a 100% successful trip. Everyone's most beloved friend, Varus, will not be here as he is currently setting up a new apartment. And he does not have his Wi-Fi yet sorted. Now then, where we last left off, our party was engaging many a nasty in the Underdark. The Underdark they are currently traversing through, trying to discover the details behind our little druid, Zero Little's background. There it is there. That was really clever. And also trying to discern the details as to... I'm just going to fix this right now because it's going to annoy me. There we go. I'm moving these back onto the map, folks, just so that we're all aware of where they are. Round two. Ding, ding. Let's go. Uh, no. So, you're trying to discover what was occurring with his master, why his master had so many foul and terribly nasty creatures under his service, mutated monsters and the like, and we discovered that what Zero remembered as him being a helping healer for the sick, not really the case. Not really the case at all. And upon continuing their journeys into the Underdark, after encountering a vampire, a vampire count who can be easily described by everyone's most beloved uh, tiefling as, this is my aesthetic sitting on a throne, you all decided, hey, might not be a good idea to piss off Vlad, so instead... You decided to do as Vlad would wish, and also, I'm going to do this, because this is what you saw last uh, uh, two or three weeks ago. So That's a winning smile. Oh, hi, Hansen. That is a yep, he's a winning smile. I did describe him like that, though, to be fair. So, he made a deal, one with the wizard of the party and one with the druid of the party. The wizard was told to bring him... The dragon freshest blood. blood of the most powerful dragon he could encounter. And Zero Little was told to bring the head of his master, previous master, to... Skull. Yeah, skull, head, master, whichever, of Gustav Birk, who apparently has some sort of dealings with Vlad Sandoval. I know, it's, he specifically said skull because he wanted to use it as a goblet. Mm -hmm. He has a great use of a chalice. So, you all were proceeding, you found yourselves on the access point with your companions, a family of werewolves, whom then, in their humanoid forms, fled towards Gontal Grimm, thanking you for your efforts and endeavors. And you all headed a different route, a route that took you deep into the <clears throat> Underdark proper. And as you were passing through, you heard the fluttering of wings in the airs above you. You looked around until you spotted a small spined creature, a rather nasty looking, almost impish thing. You saw a nasty little fellow who looked quite a lot like that. If that popped up for you guys. Yep. yep. And after that, you saw many more of them appearing suddenly as they were being led by one of these, which immediately summoned another one of those. It began its uh, engagement in combat by striking down the druid and nearly killing him, saying that he had been disobedient and needed to be punished. However, he did not Please say just... a word. It came all through his mind to yours. Just... During the battle... They're still my bit. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, first you're interrupting me, you're second you're stealing his bit. Then you encounter one of these lovelies. Who just went, oh, hi there, Fred, and fell on top of the warlock. You managed to beat them back to a rather bloody standstill, and you all fled. Or, they all fled. The last horned devil fleeing, your party was very hot in the pursuit of, until the bone devil dislocated his jaw let out this massive wall of energy that just blocked all your entry. Glory struck against it multiple times, many a spell was cast on it, but nothing. 
and they fled down the corridor. Further down the path you intended to take, and it was there, as blood is still rushing through your system, you are all still shocked, adrenaline is going, curious of what the fuck this was, we come back. There are no bodies of any of the uh, devils, as when devils die, their bodies return, well, turn to ash more so, and return then to the... Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they turn. They turn into my girlfriend. No, they turn into ash and are then sent back to the hells. So they are gone, but their weapons were left. The spine devils had nothing, but the horn W slew did have a large, for lack of a better term, pike or polar. And this is where we return to. What would you all like to do? I would like to slap an artist at Wizards of the Coast because I just realized that the horn devil is doing devil horns. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What? <laughs> Uh, Douse, can you make that pop up for us again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for oh my god! <laughs> Why do you think I used them? Why do you think I used them? <laughs> I noticed that like immediately, so... <laughs> I was everywhere. deciding what would be the lieutenant of this, and then I saw that and I was like, You! You will do! You god heavy metal damn it, wizards! <laughs> You heavy metal man, I choose you. <laughs> Lead my <laughs> armies. <laughs> right. Good you time. heavy Good metal time man. Up. Let us fight. <laughs> uh, I would like to sleep. I'm just gonna remind no one in case he's forgotten that his hex is still up on the bone devil because <laughs> I oh, took yeah, yeah. this last week. Mm. Yeah, because I, I cast it at a higher level because yep, then I had it for eight hours. 20? Yeah, eight. I had it for eight. It goes. Few minutes, eight twenty-four. I'm a it's like, a, oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, curses yeah, it's... in the fact that the higher level you cast it at, the more brutal it becomes. Yeah, Hi, it's an ninth hour. level. You last forever. Um, no, I can't like, go past twenty-four. Scream? No, I mean um... curses. Oh yeah. Sorry. But yeah, no. Um, it goes from an hour to eight to twenty-four. I know. We oh, said a few minutes. What were you saying, today? I would like to scream and slam um, Golaitori on the ground. <laughs> Which she does. I hate demonic. I hate demonic. I think we all hate what? demonic at this point. Not Those very nice. Were always punks to begin with. I mean, I'm so good with them. Of course you are. Mm. Or it's just kind of still kind of kicking over where this fucking wall is. <laughs> After a few minutes of kicking, boom, boom, you just your foot bounces back with more force every time that would you kick it, and then eventually you swing and your leg almost goes out from under you as the wall eventually ends after five minutes. Good. Okay. Honey, you okay? I'm fine. I'm taking my rage off on this invisible fucking wall, which is now gone. So great, whatever. Ugh. Yeah, I nearly saw you fall. I thought that you turned yourself. I'm alright, honey. Don't worry about me. Uh, I also fucking hate devils, ironically. I'm not the biggest fan. <laughs> I, I don't like things from the upper or lower planes. I think we can all agree they weren't very nice, says Kirok as she pulls out a spine because- Ow! <laughs> 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 Fuck javelins! Um, don't have a lot of HP left! Literally, I um, use the hellish equivalent of javelins. Yes. Um, I'm gonna walk up to zero. And just they go. Spain. What? Oh, oh, Spain. What an opportunity! Yeah, like porcupines. Exactly. Oh wow. Ouch! <laughs> you missed so much. Um, they literally fire the spine. Spain. Spine devils. Spine devils. Yeah. <laughs> Exhibit A. I suppose that would draw Spain. Um, let's say what what throws a spine? These assholes. Da -da -da -da. Hey, I f I think we should find somewhere to sleep. Wasn't somebody walking up to me a second ago? Me. Sleep sounds nice. Just want to make something very. I just want to. I don't know. Uh, do you have a any idea the extent of what we're walking into here? Because you know, like I kind of expected drow and like deep whatever, but. Devils is something else. 
Well, I second that. <laughs> judging from what the vampire said, it looks like my master might be some sort of necromantic lord of some description. Oh, joy. <laughs> Would that be a bit of an odd saying to like, I've, I've not really seen werewolves or demons down here in my travels before, have I, Das? Make a... make it just a straight intelligence check, why don't you? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, First wonderful. Roll. I'm so glad. <laughs> First roll is average. I can live mm. with that. <laughs> You've not gone this far in the Gauntlet Grim side, and more appropriately as well, Really? No. Werewolves, you've definitely not seen any of. You have heard tale that some monsters might come down from the upper plane, like, say, creatures that are getting hunted. Like, seek shelter in the Underdark, because, well, who wants to go to the Underdark? But, but besides that, no. Demons? There's, it's demons it's, not to see. Underdark aren't, isn't known for having a heavy demonic uh, influence. Usually it's a matter of, that's the Ithlet's place, we don't go there. For pretty much everyone. Okay. I sort of scratch my chin a bit and say, uh, it's uh, <laughs> interesting that if he is a necromancer, and well, I was to understand he taught me Druidcraft, maybe it was something that I sort of innately had within me all along. Who knows? I did raise pigs. But if you had any idea of what else was down here, you would tell me, right? Like I said, that was under chance spells. I thought those guys were pixies. They were still punks, but they were pixies. Glory will need to insight check you. <laughs> <laughs> for glory's for glory's sake. Zero for glory. Would... For glory. Zero. If you'd <laughs> like Most to. Most average you... of tests. <laughs> uh, um, zero. If you'd like to, you can just make a. Ah, I'll be able to know because I know your numbers. Just make a straight charisma <laughs> check. Make a charisma check. Either it's just charisma, so. Then you can look at your own proficiencies and tell me what you roll then. This is your way of being not say, I'm going to make a deception check or a persuasion check. All right, so yeah, you, what does she see, Zero? Is you, are oh. you being genuine? Yeah, <laughs> to, to my knowledge, they were pixies. So, Glory, the thing is, you're aware that even under his mask, you can tell by tone that he is being sincere. It's more so the problem that he has that uncertainty in his voice that he doesn't know if what he believes is true. Glory just seems to visibly calm a little bit. <laughs> I think it's fair to establish that anything I know about uh, my mastery dealings is <laughs> a bit rubbish. Vash just farted. <laughs> uh, what the frick? And with that, I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Um, uh, Gory just kind of puts a hand on your shoulder and it's just like, all right. I said I was with you and I'm with you. Devils just shakes things up a little bit for me. A few things down here have. Remember, whatever your blood is, you are you. <laughs> there is Infernal yeah. Flame, and there is Moradin's Flame. The <laughs> two. One rapidly out, out burns the other. And besides, if you don't like that answer, we can always, I don't know, go about killing all the demons or something. I know you guys are each a favour, so I say killing the... What's the king of all demons? We'll kill him. Uh, I think you're that a guy. I think you're all for... I'm saying that character. Is that a point of me? Or is that a point of <laughs> We should have been. This dude, about this dude right here. <laughs> <laughs> I just know he says it in character. Anyway. <laughs> would, would I know about devils? Since I had a nip. <laughs> Has Make combat a religion check. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening to us today? You will be aware of the common knowledge that whilst the lot changes in the hells, a lot of daps changes in 
fluctuates quite often. One thing stays a certain. Asmodeus is king. <laughs> and Asmodeus seems to have, from all knowledge, always got a plan to deal with everyone. <laughs> Asmodeus, that's who you're thinking of, uh, Zir. Can we not say that name? <sighs> Just, let's not throw Mufasa. it out there, right? <laughs> <Mufasa>. <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. The point being that I owe you all favor, so I'll gladly, uh, you know, poke the guy and killing his all devils chin. isn't required. But Whatever the sentiment is appreciated. If you we'll have, not deal if, with this first, and I suggest we all get some sleep. If you want to start with favors, pitch. you can help with this, and Kirok sticks out a wing, which has another <laughs> spine stuck in it. <laughs> I, I, I start. I start uh, going through the process of helping uh, Kirok pull spines out. Of Ow! Spot. Make a medicine check. <laughs> Zero. This could spine. go poorly. Not feathers. She still needs to fly. The difference between feathers and spines. We'll see if that holds true in this role. <laughs> I'm about to say, like, you're either gonna take it out or push it in. No. Nice. Nice. I'm, good at, I'm good at this stuff. Fuck. He did. Yeah, he's he a drew drew fucking doctor. A plague druid work? of all things. I know my medicine. I didn't know. So, he saying. knows exactly what he's doing. Ow. <laughs> It's actually not that painful. He does... What he basically does is a very simple technique of just, like, say, holding the muscle around where the injury is, which is a little sore, and then he's able to help push it out with that force and just pluck it out. So he minimizes any amount of pain that you would be suffering. He is Dr. Boy, and then he just gives little dabs with a uh, small powder into each of the small holes left on the spine from the spinal injuries. Spinal injuries, that'd be something else. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you're kind of... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I got this great insect that gives a numbing stuff. Just let me put some of that on. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Jiren just looks <laughs> like you to make a constitution saving throw now. It's like a mosquito. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, Ellie, okay. okay. really no, big. I'm joking. Are you using I'm leeches on me? <laughs> no, I leeches. I mean, that was a joke. That was a joke. You don't. <laughs> but, uh, for a moment, Karaki, I thought I guys had this at home, but then I just stopped. Shit. That's amazing, considering you put it on my back. <laughs> hey, get to everything, bitch. <laughs> my rules. Oh. This is amazing. Don't numb the bird. As a bird, the you bird. eat them? Maybe they're a little bit comfy. <laughs> Your tongue does eventually reset, but I will say it's whenever you decide you want to let it reset. Uh... Gonna... When, when, when did we adopt? Can you remind me this? When, when did we adopt so many children? Oh, I don't even know anymore. Eight months ago. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. been that long, it feels like forever. <laughs> anyone else got spines in the butt? I can help. Uh, I, I, I'm good, thanks. D uh, so is I'm it, pretty sure Barry Is the area time. a bit dim? Like, has, like, dim light? Dim light? There's yeah, a... Just... And it, it, the entire area is more or less dimly lit because it's just like torches. Every few, like say every sixty odd feet, some are burnt out, some are mine, not many maintained. That kind of thing. I have the drift, like I have the drift like... globe. I don't know what kind of light that creates. That gives yeah, thirty, and then thir that gives thirty bright, and then thirty dim. So I just presume, like, so long as you're flying around the bird. Although this is funny because that makes the bird a massive target because <laughs> it follows guys, it. But doesn't um, but doesn't Golai Tori give out a small light? That does as well. Golatory does give out a light. Jesus, my friend. You guys are no fun. <laughs> we we <laughs> live on the surface. <laughs> if it was dim lit or darkness, I could just go invisible and just go. <laughs> you fall <Okay>. asleep. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go. I was gonna fall you can asleep. Find a corner. You're that small. You can find a corner and go invisible. <laughs> as, a, as a human under here, I basically just live with a conjured flame in my hand when they're not doing else something else. <laughs> Yeah, because I just basically wanted to lie down and just go, Phew. basically turn invisible in front of, the, in like <laughs> anyway, the middle of everybody. No. Just. <laughs> I think. Anyway, shall we all rest up yes. before we move on? Yes, I but creep I would. In the shadows, like a I would advise. Thing. I would advise that we move from here, considering we just made a lot of noise, and those I worms may come that. back. An excellent plan. I'm all right with that idea, but where to? To my understanding, this is just a straight path. You're the person who'd know the best. I, actually, Daz. Uh, if I want somebody's the back, dark, not your tunnels. <laughs> if I'm on somebody's yeah. back, am I technically moving? Yes. Or is it... Damn it. 
<laughs> you are moving because you are on someone. You are not physically exerting to move, but you are on someone. Damn. Because I was getting caught with somebody back and just go. <laughs> Basically, that's a hidden board box. Just. I just imagine the baby back backpack with with that. No, 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 there's nothing there. It's just basically just somebody's clinging on to you. Just he's yodering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, all I Dougie, you must get to the dark side, Larry. <laughs> all yeah, all I pictured was a baby <laughs> backpack on top of Key Rock, and then Roman just sticking his legs out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because I I can become invisible using my action using one with shadows, but until I move, take an action or reaction. Zero, make a survival check for me, would don't you? Sure. We'll say that because you're in this section, you have advantage. Do I look like I need it? Keep that cockiness up, bitch. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I just stuttered over, bitch. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of that. My tiny chat is. My tiny chat is glitching considerably, so all I saw was Narrowin just very, very slowly over the course of about three minutes go slower and slower. And slower. <laughs> <laughs> Until he came off frame, but then he came back out. So, Zero, you know that further down along this way, there is a small alcove that you could use as a resting point. It's essentially where the um, where once a river ran through and did carve away a bit, or maybe it was a uh, old dwarven ex uh, excavation that just got stopped point blank before it went too deep. As I say about I Should don't I don't fine. know your tunnels, I suddenly go. Wait a minute, I think there might have been a river through here. Maybe, oh, this way. <laughs> yeah, I can just follow that. Yeah. I, I guess I have absolutely right, no idea where I am, right? You are currently in the Gauntle Grim side. You know Citadel Felbar side, like the back of your hand. This okay. side, this side, you just know by reference of dwarven design. It's just. Roads. It's more. It's more like the fact that you've been in your city, in your country for so long. Now you're in a different city. You recognize some signs, but this is a whole new place you walk in. All right. As I'm walking along, I just say. Uh, see, you can tell there's water gone through here because of the moisture. And you see these rocks? Well, you see, the uh, earth has maybe layers. Maybe we should keep it quiet. <laughs> layers, you say? Please don't bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need bringing back. It permanently exists. <laughs> That's just layers, or...? <laughs> Are these, like, onion layers or cake layers? Can we just move? <laughs> yeah. You are currently moving, Glory, and Glory, I'm just imagining every now and again tries to lean her face against a pillar to hit it, and she gets pulled back. Don't, We've, don't we go do for it while me and Kirok having a name conversation as we usually you know. do. I'm just gonna go. You know, I may, be, I may look like a kid, but I do not want to go on a field trip right now. Please, let's continue. Always a field trip with us. <laughs> We even oh. bought snacks! Oh. And actual children. Again, and I am so not a child. And they schooling. Right, let's just get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening with it? us yes, today? Get on with it! Are we are the Brady Bunch. <laughs> <Don't, don't... laughs> We've just missed being this so much. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, so I take it we get to the alcove? That, that, yes. That's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you do. You eventually get to the small alcove. Uh, make a perception check. Everyone? Him. Just him. Just him. No. Right there, there. God damn, you're rolling. Incredibly. <laughs> Watch now, he gets to... It's gonna happen once. <laughs> yeah. Watch how he gets to an important point, and that's a one. Man, these are all wisdom things. <laughs> yeah, don't mm, yeah. jinx him! Oh, I'll jinx him all I want, sweetheart. If there was a con skill, that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, farting. <laughs> and congratulations, you failed to shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe Zero, I'm... looking around this uh, alcove, you discern that by checking around it and the fact that there's <clears throat> a small fireplace that's currently been just cooled out. 
You can tell that someone might have been through here probably in the last... It's cooled out now a good long while and the ashes are more... Because you can more just recognize a burnt out campfire than anything. That someone was through here probably about a week ago. And it was only one person. I relay this information to the others. Then we are not alone. <laughs> well, it was a week ago, so we probably are alone. Mm. Can I look around to see if anything was like left behind or anything? Just to quickly check. See if we can get any idea of... I'm going to say now, go ahead. <laughs> I was like, it's, 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 he rolled a 24. Oh yeah, but that won't bother them, that's fine. I think it would be alright to set up camp. I mean, <laughs> they could be around, but it would raise questions. Alright. Okay. Think of it this way. Somebody else safely made camp here, so... Well, a week ago, yes, there's been yeah, there's dangerous no, yeah, yeah, there's no bones or anything around, so that's good. Can never be too careful, and I'm gonna cast Guardian of Faith if this is where I'm intending to sleep. Ooh. Guys, look at my DM D D box. Look hey. on my dice box. That's literally six sex, six sets of dice. That is a seconds. Duh. 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 I pull out the gold ones first. I didn't even know that, that was the one I was pulling. Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, so as you guys are doing that and going for your rests, we all know your rotors. And. <laughs> We've got a Guardian of Faith. Yeah. Um, Glory, roll me a d100 if you please. No. Oh, no. No. What does that mean? <laughs> this could mean so many things in there. It's a lot easier Shit. than me going, hey, I'm going to roll a d100. How don't you? That's how much health I have left. <laughs> That's how many days you have left till you die. <laughs> oh, God. I hope you have a new character ready. Um, <laughs> Not for this campaign. <laughs> okay, and look at my uh, gotta look. Gotta look at my nose. Okay. I'm terrified of everything. What is happening? I hope this isn't a reaction to my guardian of faith. If I accidentally kill you with it somehow. <laughs> Me? I don't. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? If it does, it'd be do ironic. Thing. My if, do the thing. It if, she was going, if she was going to die by right, a holy vengeance of some sort, I think banging the paladin would be the bigger issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> Would you prefer shagging the paladin? <laughs> Doing the paladin. <laughs> No, 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 holy vengeance. Holy vengeance oh. was what you were trying to Is that what you keep the calling it these days? <laughs> we <laughs> need to stop. <laughs> I'm stopping this right here. Okay. <laughs> I think holy so... vengeance is an STD paladins get. Okay, so, Glory, as you were focusing oh. on your night watch, you're keeping an eye out, and... Uh, you hear the ground nearby you rumble a bit and you see just this three-pronged hand this red stony hand just pull out of the earth this is a good 50 60 feet away from you and then another one and then a third pulling itself out you see this large gaping maw at the top and just two eyes on either side of the maw so say on one side and then on the far side and then there's a stunted body and three legs. And you should see it has something shiny in its hand and just into in into the um mouth, scratches itself, looks away from you guys and just wanders off. Gonna be very. I don't know why I started whispering. <laughs> I'm just gonna be very <laughs> quiet until I'm like eighty to eighty or ninety percent sure it's gone. 
Okay. Smart girl. <laughs> Learned from last time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Seems like a devil thing, and I don't want to be involved. <laughs> uh, let's see. Everything happened on how everything happens on me and Ash's spot. How long? Did, how far away did I say he was? 50, 70 50 feet? Or so yeah, feet. fifty or so. Mm. Okay. I said it. It stops. Just at 60 feet away, and as if it's lifting itself up, and you see that eye dart back around to you. It's almost like it's smelling in the air. With its eye? Far as far. <laughs> and I will show you now what you see. Uh, what Actually, I want a you survival check from you. I want you a survival check. Yeah. From me too, because... I'm there? Uh, sure. Survival just for, let's see how... Hey, that's good not good for can... me. <laughs> this would either be a survival check or an intelligence check, just see if you can remember this. Uh, and I'd say either me. one of you would have a reason. Yeah, make an intelligence check as well, just to see. And uh, Ash, do the same, survival and intelligence. Why was my intelligence better than my survival? <laughs> no. I'm in panic. You have, panic you have the headband on, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's probably. I got the same modifier for both of them. <clears throat> so, this is what you see. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! How big uh, is this thing? Can... This thing is it's. It's like a broad human in regards to its size, okay. except for the fact that it is a three pronged on all sides. So. Do, 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 do. Do what would be a viable way to on the map? Yeah, you I'm all just bundle, not just sleeping you just bundle up all together, all nice like. I'm I'm invisible. As usual. That would not matter. What me being invisible? No. Okay. One hundred percent of this is bad. <laughs> You see the creature almost as if it's like peering through some sort of sense. Looks over to the far side and sees that there's this like chunk of from some sort of old mine or some old excavation or something. You see un, um, unsmelted uh, iron ore and it just rushes over there and just throws it in just Still not doing anything and being very still and very quiet. And you're currently watching it, so this is going to be a straight check for it. Well, I'm watching too, remember? I know, I know. Always whisper wrong. Yeah, you watch as the as the creature was just sat there eating and gorging, and as you blinked, it's gone. I'm just gonna whisper to Ash. I think I might be sleep deprived and losing it a little. You do see that, right? Oh, I saw it. I'm so confused. <laughs> you watch as it. From the shadows, just steps out again. And just creeps up towards Roman. And you see it actually begins trying to reach one of these large three-point hands down towards its pocket. I will draw my sword and step a little bit closer to see if I can kind of scare it a little bit. I don't know. And you see that it's actually reached for his... Money pouch. Don't. Don't care. Don't you fucking care. I worked hard for that money, goddammit. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say for the sake of this, 
prepare to make another stealth check as it's approaching you. What's your passive perception? Who, me? <laughs> Any yeah. of us likely to wake up at this point? Eleven. Who has a, anyone has a passive perception that's currently asleep above 17? No, not, not me or Varys. Wait, I've got a passive perception, but I'm asleep. Uh, yeah. I've got no, no, but like 21? Oh, wait, 19, sorry. Nine, oh, yeah, no. You just hear this, like, soft... So I wake up. Of these footprints against the way, around you, wake up, and you recognize this creature immediately. This is a Zorn. A creature that's known to be a thief and a beggar, but craves nothing more than sh shiny gemstones and precious metals. More importantly, pouches of gold, diamonds. That's this thing's jam. Yeah. And as Glory steps closer to it, it just steps back on its back like a and just like puts down its hand from where it was reaching. And is like in this more submissive kind of pose to her. Make an intimidation check. Oh, Jesus. I've never had to make one of these. <laughs> I think you did before. You made someone piss themselves. I'm sure you've oh, I, I, I've probably done it, but I can't remember. You oh, do boy. Have you do have proficiency in this as well, which is the best <laughs> No, part. I do not. <laughs> you do. You're a tiefling. <laughs> no, not intimidation. I thought tieflings got to... Uh... Hold on, I'll check. Do you, is it? Yeah. It's charisma based. Uh, fire resistance. Yeah, is no, it, it doesn't it, have anything like that. Never mind me. Nope. Yeah. Deep things are not inherently scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they just get increased to their charisma. Yeah. <clears throat> so you watch as you're just giving it this death glare of don't you fucking I'm so dare. fucking tired. <laughs> it drops it. <laughs> Senses that it's not exactly the safest point and is going to start running. Do I hear my money pouch just go? Your money pouch just hits your thigh like as it's dropped back down on top of you. And you now see this creature dancing away. Does any of the others wake up? As it's... Yeah, it's not stealthing anymore. It's just going to do that. Do How much do I know about Zorns? Um. You are groggy waking up from sleep. Make a history check. With disadvantage, because you were just waking up going, the fuck? <laughs> you just go, the fuck is that? But you guys watch as the Zorn looks at you all. I'm still in my sleep. Um, I'm still in my uh, body bags. <laughs> my head so you can't see shit. Up. Yeah, I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> it looks cool. back at you all and go, and just looks at the wall and just, boop, jumps in. Like it's nothing, it just glides in. Since I'm awake briefly, I'm gonna move my Guardian of Faith here. <laughs> and also, since I am now awake, and being that I am a merchant, I quickly go, That son of a bitch stole a coin! God damn it! <laughs> oh wait, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> but maybe they my body bag on what? You won't go back to sleep, I think it might be alright. Okay, so, um, <laughs> yeah, Maris is just like, what the fuck? Oh, so hang on. So, I'm gonna cast alarm. He doesn't have alarm prepared, else I would have said it. Okay, fuck him then. <laughs> he doesn't get alarm. <laughs> no alarm for you! He's marked, as, he's marked it as unprepared, it's not got a thing next to it. <laughs> no alarm for you then. Okay, is so. Is it a ritual? It's okay. Oh, if know. it comes near us again, my guardian of faith will melt it. Good, I'm too tired to deal with this shit. <laughs> He's just I in this tired, me. slightly happy sense. Don't worry, my guardian's gonna. I unzip my body bags. Like, <laughs> what's going yeah, on? I, I see that with my eyes closed as I'm drifting off to sleep again. <laughs> I'm about to sleep. It's alright. My mom's probably wondering why I just yelled. Don't you fucking dare! That's my. I worked hard for that money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just realized as well how much bank you have. Yeah, that's why I was like, no, no, no. don't you dare, don't you fucking dare. That's why you don't put all your money in the same place. Don't put your eggs all in one basket. All in one I'm pouch for no. Zorn to Where eat. Where do I have to? Because <laughs> fun fact, once that's in, it's not coming back out. That's just gone the moment it goes get, in. Get, get eaten.
That was the only encounter. <laughs> so Christ, all our health and spell check? Yay! <laughs> yeah, Kirok's, Kirok's doing her noise while I'm doing my wheezing. <laughs> and, and there's just some eldritch te- uh, language just coming from my mouth. Love, love, <laughs> glory just like a person, you weirdos. <laughs> Honey, we might be when we get when we get home. I need to earplugs. <laughs> when we get home. <laughs> You, do. you guys apparently have a home, not the. We yeah, have no. one of those. Oh yeah, we do. Ash, Ash is saying this Ash while seeing the big spoon, and her face is basically just covered up by more or less just Glory's back. Honey, when we get home, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Glory <laughs> yeah. is asleep and does not hear this. <laughs> nah. So you all do wake up the next day. Oh, fully recharged. <laughs> fully charged. Oh, thank God. Sweet. Fork. <laughs> And as you guys wake up, you pull yourselves up. You hear a perception check. Perception check. You don't really have to. Okay. As you get this immediate waft of fresh cooked food and the smell of orange juice and milk and honeys, all wafting out of the door. And uh, zero, you Do recognize this door. I go, I call, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. Zero, you I recognize, recognize this oh, door. No. I call bullshit. This door is a with an ivory lacing all the way up the side. It is this red wood door, which is just improper up against the b- wall of the actual cave. As you guys are there, was the safe. What's the save to resist the so cooking? So, this is my master's place? Yup. Okay, I get up and I stretch and I say, Honey, I'm home! <laughs> okay, everyone, you're gonna follow my lead here. This is my master's place. Well, ex- well, we'll see. Huh. Uh, be on your guard, but uh, seriously, lay a hand on- <coughs> You get the idea. Are you not gonna question why this is here? Uh, well, I always questioned why it was there. It's weird. He's and he's possibly our enemy now. What do you want? <laughs> Did it just kind of appear? Uh, yeah, I grab some of the charcoal and just do war paint real quick. Just seriously, wait till my go ahead. There may be others charmed here. Okay, I just like doing this. That's all. So I get to move you all onto this map now, yeah, which is it's fun. it's a fashion statement thing, it's the whole oh, I mean, plus with the giant mohawk yeah. and everything, it kind of looks very really good. punk rock concert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he's doing the whole goth 1980s The Cure thing with the eyeliner. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Metal! Metal! Uh, so I'm gonna go in first say, I've got some friends, hope you don't mind. You hear... The same voice as always, just echoing out. You don't see a form to it, you don't see a source. Of course, of course, Zero! Bring them all in, my friend! Bring them all in! I would like it on record, I do not like this, I do not trust it, and I want no part of it. Carry on. <laughs> I just, I just like, inst- instantly scooting to Glory's side, just like, Meh. Zero, this is your call. It is. Just and I still sure. don't know the details, so I just want to know. Just make sure the rest of the kids are protected, okay? As we're walking hey, in, I'm going to cast Guidance on Zero. Oh, thank you. Uh, we haven't actually changed maps if we were supposed to. Oh no, not yet. No, I know. Just for, like, you know, anything that happens from here on out, I've got one so... hand on a sword, but I haven't drawn it. I'm just... It's just there. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Not, not that I suspect anything, but Varys is an elf and has like advantage on Everything. saves against being charmed. charmed. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think can be magically put to sleep. No, is that nope. the thing, yeah. elves? Yeah, no, yeah, they, they cannot. Can put... They cannot be put magically. Just put so to sleep. we, you know, have this fresh in our minds for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, not at all. No, yeah, totally. It's like that okay. time. It's like that time in the forest, Nerin. You remember that? That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, that was fun. I don't think it will help any, but I have been bracing myself. Was I in the forest? Charms the, in this dragon. area for that specific. Oh, right. What have you been doing, Zero? 
I've just been bracing my mind against the specific charm because, you know, it's happened before and it made a mess of my life, so... Sure, you can say that you're totally prepared for it. Not that I don't think that makes a difference, but... No, 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 no. Just... Anyway, in we pop. Just to, just to I reiterate, Nemo, when I was saying just protect... Just make sure the kids are protected, I was talking about, um, K-Rock and Roman. We know who you're hey. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's a, <laughs> a little bit. He's, he's more of a teenager yeah. than a kid. He's, he's, Again, I don't really know why you guys it. think I'm a kid. I'm like the oldest fucking person here. No, you're a child. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> I'm 150! <laughs> this is how this works. <laughs> you are you you familiar with Delmara and Grunt's relationship. She is also 150. <laughs> hang on, hang on. You're 50, you have a black mohawk, and you look like... No, no. no. Like I'm not 50. I'm 150. <laughs> Exactly my point! You I need to make sure that you guys can... Okay, guys? <laughs> guys, chill. No, no, you're doing me a favor here. You're doing me a favor here anyway. It's like a baby by, by right. known standards. It's the same as elves. It's like, oh, and you can live ah, in a thousand. Hitting the feature like has sight would help for all of you. What? Huh? Alright, if, if we're, go we're going in, something very important to note. Wipe your feet, I don't want dirty mud. I do greatly appreciate that. Just as we walk I, I in, just I'm uh, gating him. Gatons. You got some guidance on him, yeah. There. I just used prestitution on everybody. There. That's better. Yeah, so wipe your feet. I look down at my very sharp tans. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a doormat left. Perfect. That is working as intended. Okay. This is gonna be cool. So. Not working as intended. You hear just it's a downward staircase and you step down with these floating lights about five, ten feet above your head on either side, just floating. These bright lights, they're just illuminating everything. The decor is extravagant. This does not belong in the underdark, but it is beautiful in every way. And you're just stepping down until you find yourselves at the bottom of the staircase. There is a pool of water in front of you guys with a small channel that leads to the left and up and beyond. And ahead of that is um, this heavier set, tough looking guy and a regal knight standing next to him. No sign currently, Nemo, of your master, but they beckon you in. Do I know these two? These were two of his associates, two people that have worked alongside him for a very, very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the home of Gustav Berg. No, oh, there we go. Hey, this is a big place. Ooh. Please tell me you guys can only see Ooh, yeah. the lighting. The lighting, good. That's important. <laughs> And I'm going to slap people if you I was going to be like, I you're... only see darkness, and then I found this tiny area Don't... where we are. <laughs> I told Don't you this was going to be good. move yourself. Let the DM move you, yeah. because it will... No, no, like, you guys can just go, I'm going to move here to here kind of thing. So the light should change for you. But the, uh, the light should only be for your own Ooh. individual person. So Roman moving forward should only see what Roman can currently see. Ooh, that's well, neat. I... Okay, Am I alright to go up to these guys and say... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, how you going? Long time no see. This is uh, Alex and uh, Thomas. We both go, ah, it's been such a long time. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> good to see you too. Alan. I... Yeah, well, yeah. I certainly have questions because it seems I was charmed here and et cetera, et cetera. But, charmed? You know, yeah, yeah, don't start. Look, I just want to see you at least safely and blah, 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 blah. I have questions more than anything. I'm not just blaming anyone yet. Oh, you want to go see the master? He's currently having breakfast. Certainly. Uh, yeah, just... And he points down the passageway to his side. I'll see yep. at least, but yeah, let's go. Just uh, down this way. Now, I'm just going to do something really quick. These guys are with me. They're on orders not to do anything. Just don't encourage them to violence. We won't. Trust me, we won't. Now, just give me a second, guys, before you turn the corner, because I have to make sure things are working right, because mm -hmm. if they're not, well, things are shit then.
They seem to be working. <laughs> can I just say that I did nope. not know this was a feature that you could do, and it's really cool. Okay, carry on. Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> can I just can I just say that I remember the last time this feature was used, and it's making me very nervous. <laughs> breathe, Blue. Breathe. You were fine. You were thrown out of a window. <laughs> you were fine. No, well, that's the thing, guys. You you guys didn't see what I saw because I had a different vision to you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Breathe. I mean, technically... Much better! There we go. Oh, I mean, I could see oh, more now as this character than I could as my other. <laughs> what have you had? Hang on. There we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. There we go. Everything as it should be. I have, to get, this I have to get this hour cocker off the screen. <laughs> Where did he go? I had him. That's that's my me, me and Blue's head turned at the same time to the <laughs> no, to the boy and Tiny Chad was like, Eric Cocker, what? <laughs> we yeah, might have to what? Yeah, yeah Cocker was just something I threw in just so I could test it with. So yeah. <laughs> so the knight motions out and you hear the heavy chain armor just <laughs> Yeah, just down there. Follow it down and along and just take the right, then over the bridge. And you know your master's quarters, of course. I know so over the two bridges, to the central aisle, and then over the third again, that will take you across, and then he's on the right. Jesus Christ, I hope I know the way. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm, like, I'm just basically in the back going, so... I didn't so... write that down, so I hope one of you got it. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just I, assist you. I don't you. have it, but Kerok does. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you move like zero, because he knows the way, he's... Yeah, he's fine. He just goes straight where he needs to. Kerok's going for directions. Can we see anything when we look in the water? Make perception checks. Oh. I'm too focused on what Zero's doing. To I get advantage on perception checks because of my shield. Sure you do. Zero, where'd you go to? There you are. Nice. Okay, so Zero, you look in the water. Roman, you look. Durin, you look. You see nothing. Okay. Good. The, the water, water is just fine. moving. It's basically just like bubbled up from a point, and it is fresh water. It smells fresh, like you can tell that scent. And it is coming up from a point where you guys came in at, and it's flowing down and along. So I'm going to continue to move zero. I hope you guys are keeping Wait. up. I'm following Zero. Where the fuck did Zero go? Yeah. Hello! That's, that's the thing, we actually have to move in order because I can't yes, see unless do. somebody in front of me moves forward. <laughs> that's right, guys. Oh, is that a path? I thought that was just yep. the... Uh... Oh god, no. this is terrifying! <laughs> 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 You're fine! You're fine! fine. Everyone on to this side! Everyone on okay, to this side! Okay, I am lost now! <laughs> Yeah, I've got you. I physically can't move my Follow character into the darkness. I've got you. I've got oh, you. Follow <laughs> my voice into the darkness. <laughs> oh, yeah. right, guys. oh god, this is horrifying. Shh, you're fine. Ah. I'm just keeping my eye out for anything that looks like it might be like Make a set up for a trap one. like or anything. For yeah. Also, Zero, as you stepped over to your right and say what would be um, your right and forward from when you were walking down by where those torches were. Usually here. that's where patients are being taken care of. But that entire area is just blocked off. There's just darkness there. Right out. Is there though? <laughs> oh. Jiren, you can't really make it out, but you hear a low sounding. I did, can't even. I can't even hear make that. It out. <laughs> okay. You did it too quietly. Let me, let me do that again. No. Nope. Nope. Coming from the water. You need to do it louder. <laughs> no, I can hear that. There's this constant like grumbling sound of pain. That's almost like gurgling as well. <sighs> Not from, from the, water. the water. From oh. where you guys are currently walking over the bridges, it will be on the island that will be the far back of you. That's currently veiled in shadow. Then there? Mm, more so right about here. Oh god. So how about I just like move over all of you and move you together as a family? 
<laughs> You're all in this together. So I zero. got all my kids with me. <laughs> what oh, yeah. the fuck is that down there? What's what where? You should see something. That's what I was thinking. I'm just going to whisper to the people that are around me right now that I hear some sort of like groan of pain nearby. That is, uh, you guys see that as the exit way of the water. It just oh, okay. <coughs> down. Probably the it... patience. So right, I'm going to do this probably... as well because this helps. I'm going to remove the grid. So now you can actually oh, be Jesus. on top of these. Oh Jesus! Too much freedom. Too much freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like ah! it. I don't like it. <laughs> Instructions unclear. <laughs> We're all malfunctioning. Whisper, anyway, um, carry on. I whisper to Durin in um, Dwarvish, "We are strangers in a strange land. Keep your right wits about you." Zero. As you enter into the common Smart. room, the room that you usually lived in, there you see, currently working over a stove, is Elise. <laughs> Next to her is Gustav. <laughs> Look at all the kids She's just gathering I... up. I sort of am taken back for a moment, and I say, y y "You guys see that girl, right?" Yeah. <laughs> kind of nod. Get the fuck in there if you want to see this shit, you bastard. <laughs> I don't oh, want to be in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I got put the. No, I, I'm like, oh, thank goodness. Thank you. I, I'm gonna take a pew at uh, the um, table. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do something risky. And I'm gonna say to everyone. Remember, stay your hands or else you'll lose them. <laughs> I'm stealthily going to try to create a zone of truth around us. <laughs> Make a stealth oh! check. Would it be a sleight of hand? <laughs> no, this is a stealth check. Okay. Yeah, the hand would be if he can do it without speaking. Ah, oh. uh, right, right. Okay, uh, stealth. <laughs> a dwarf doing a stealth check. Oh, you'd be oh, disadvantaged because you're in armor. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> I was about to say, Darren, are you sure Is you want one? to do that? Yeah. It's like three oh, seconds. Oh, As he's casting that, since he's standing right next to me, and I obviously notice he's doing it because his stealth is abysmal, can I smack him over the back end and just say, What yeah, did you I just smack say? him? You, you, you what smack did I him? Just say. <laughs> As you smack him, Durin, you feel that his hand here strikes a lot harder. And there's Zero room. Stuff. Just okay. Since last time he's like held out a hand to you, he's just striking you now with the strength that he doesn't have. And Gustav is just. Him, but... Oh no! I know you didn't, but you did. You didn't intend to hurt, but you did. Oh shit! How much damage? You take. Three damage of a type you are not currently familiar with. Oh shit. While everyone was distracted with that, that I use a sorcery point to like, subtly cast Sea Invisibility. Sorry. See, okay, so what does Sea Invisibility allow? I need to know this. I'm gonna have to check the spell See description. people invisible! I <laughs> mean... I'm, I think it lets me see into the ethereal plane, technically. If you're being super technical about it. I need oh, all God. the details right now. I'm gonna find it! Okay. For the duration, you see invisible creatures and objects as if they were visible. You can also see into the ethereal plane. Ethereal creatures and objects appear ghostly and translucent. Okay, uh, where do you look? Everywhere. I'm in a room, aren't I? <laughs> I'm yeah, looking at I the know. Room. I mean, do you look at the hallway? Do you just look in the room? Do you look at the ceiling, at the ground? I at mean, the I'll wall? probably look at all of these things in sequence because I'm nervous and I just cast the invisibility. <laughs> okay, so when you look outside, outside the hallway, for a brief moment, you see the tail of something just. those little purple tips away to the. will be alright. And inside the room, you don't see anything. I'm Lockheed. Everything is exactly as it should be. <laughs> Very big eyes. Are you okay? Fine! <laughs> Gustav, who's currently just holding, like, just sorting out some food for himself. Um, there's some meats prepared. Uh, you can also tell that there's just uh, breads, butters, jams, 
orange juice, everything has been laid out on this wide table. Why not for a lot of people? Ah, uh, oh, Alan, it's been so long. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Welcome, good to welcome, see you as well. Course. Elise, how are you? Are you all right? Um, Elise, who just... <coughs> I'm fine, Zero. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, and you could tell now that there is a very stark similarity between the two of them. She's essentially almost the female equivalent of him in the fact that she's gaunt, she's thin, she's pale. Everything. <sighs> okay, good stuff. Time we talk. Yes. First of all, you charm me. I hear her necromancer. So I don't give a shit because she's fine. <laughs> he looks at you for a moment as you're saying these things. Uh, uh, uh. Zero, I'm hurt. Uh, seriously? Look, I don't even know why you charmed me. I wouldn't have given a shit. I would have sold my soul to the devil to protect her. I don't understand why you would have done this. If anything, thank you. Being a druid's been fantastic. He's just smiling as you speak. My stomach just growls. Oh, help yourself, my little friend. It's all for you. All of you. I'm I've been hungry. preparing for some time. I'm not gonna don't... eat. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Absolutely eating. not. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> not good, hungry. But, um, I grabbed my own stuff. little ration now. I'm good. Look, Gustav. I don't know what. And he sits me. himself down with this large red velvet uh, chair, just pulls it underneath him, and just begins eating as you're speaking to him. I'm listening. I don't know what game you're playing, but if she's fine, I honestly don't care. Although, I did make a deal with a vampire, so if you've got a skull laying around, being that I hear you're a necromancer, I'm sure you've got one to spare I've got to deliver to him. But beyond that, we're cool. <coughs> make an insight check. Also, I'm just going to describe Gustav to you guys as we're continuing. Because Gustav's fun. Why don't you make his big picture show up? Well, I yeah, I just had to make sure that there was nothing um, dis displayed, we'll say. Incriminating. <laughs> so he has this long, messy, brown hair with this small goatee. Um, red clothes over a white shirt underneath and this heavy red, uh, this heavy black kind of leather upholstery over himself again. As he's eating, you just mentioned a vampire, and he just puts down both of his things as he's chewing. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm Ooh. not taking your skull, just taking a skull you own. I thought that ahead. <coughs> uh, what was his name, guys? <laughs> Vlad, Vlad totally not a vampire. Vlad the Vampire. <laughs> I'm not saving you guys. <laughs> I was about to say, I know Glory has this written down. Glory ain't saying shit, so I ain't helping you. <laughs> I ain't saying crap. Uh, do I remember this guy's name? Do His you? Name is Bad Sandalvar, okay? Bad <laughs> Sandalvar, that was the one. And at this point, you notice that his. <laughs> essentially, he's got the. It's not Bad Sandalvar. <laughs> He has these, um, the, the, the layers of his shirts and his jackets and everything just, like, hang over each other. And as he just crosses his hands, you notice that his nails are perfectly manicured with his, like, thick black, um, nail polish over them. Vlad. It's been a while since I've spoken to Vlad. It's been quite a while yeah. since I've spoken to Vlad. Huh. <laughs> Apparently not a fan of yours. I hear that's a running trait nowadays. Well, with your... How do I put it? And as he's looking away, like say towards the right, he just moves his hand and just lowers it. And the wall behind you, the actual entrance way in, this heavy iron pour collar. Is... Shit. How do I describe it? After yeah, you so that one <laughs> yep. <laughs> beat my pet to a bloody pulp. Hey, if I recall, it tried to eat me. So well, yeah, I beat your you pet. Can you blame to him? After everything you did. <laughs> I don't even know. You've charmed my head three ways from Sunday. Oh, I've never charmed you. I've never used a spell on you. Only ever I've healed you. Go ahead. Make an insight check. <laughs> insight. 
God damn you, creep. <laughs> Everything about this guy I hate. <laughs> yes. Ugh. If I nerve, if I nervously look it. through the gate, do I see anything? It reminds me too much of someone. Um, with your invisibility, you notice a with your sea invisibility, you notice a tall, like just this broad wing, just this red wing from right coming out and stretching back in. So out of your sight then, but more so that it was away from you, like as if. The back would be towards the wall, for example. <laughs> and Kirok, as you're this paranoid mess right now, make a perception check with advantage because you are on a little... <laughs> Oh boy. Please, please tell them what the message I sent you. <laughs> it was way too funny to me. Funny enough, with your sea invisibility, you notice a green mist is just. I'll, I'll let you get okay. your food first. Thank you! I got a donut. <laughs> comfort food! Comfort eat! Comfort eat! Lucas! So, you were looking, and, and Kirok, on your alert, and you don't hear anything. You just feel the wind just blow past you. And you're looking up at the top of the ceiling. You see this green mist floated in from outside, and it's just staying atop you all. This uh -oh. green mist fades for a moment, and now th you can still tell that it is invisible. Like, it has the form of invisibility on it, mm -hmm. but it's the form of a bat. Oh no, it's flat. Ah, you know, I welcome you home. I teach you everything. I help your sister. And you do this to me. Hey, I appreciate that, but I, for a moment, if you don't mind, would like to talk to my sister. At least at this point has her hands folded back and leaning back from you with this look of disdain. I thought I knew you better. I thought you loved me. Well, I do. Kind of. Then why did you? Problem. Why did you bring him here? Who's him? <laughs> and here's something you've noticed, uh, Kirok. <laughs> Come into DM us first. Oh God. Oh, no. Bye, every, bye everybody, no stream spying. Rest in peace, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hello. Hello, my dear. Oh, God. <laughs> so, what you've noticed is, you followed this image of that bat. You're not the only one in the room who's doing it. Oh, but it's not thought... Gustav. At least, she spotted it the moment it came in, and she's... Kept not. She's glanced like every few little bits up to it, so she can clearly see it. You can tell that. Can I insight check her? Go on. I'm gonna whisper that. Please do, my dear. <laughs> I'll just stop it. Oh god, I'm not good at insight. Hopefully this whispers. No, you're not. It did. Um. Usually, you'd expect someone who, by zero subscription, is pretty much a town's person. A simple person. She's more than capable of hiding what she's intending. Like, she just sounds hurt. She genuinely sounds hurt. Now then, let's go back down. <laughs> anyway, hi guys! Hi! Are you dead? Hey, Das, does I'm my much uh, alive. reading... Lip reading perk apply to Tiny Chat? <laughs> I don't know, does it, bitch? No. <laughs> that was the so. best fucking response. Anyway, can we carry on to that into this? I love you, honey! <laughs> Elise isn't sat down now and she's just pacing back and forward. And Gustav is just. You know, in my line of work, I struggle. I try. I try really 
really hard. And I try to help people. Some people don't know they're being helped. Some people ignore the fact that they've been helped. I had such hopes for you, Alan. Such hopes. Such hopes that you might one day be my successor. Uh, just zip your lip for a second. I'm talking to my sister. Is he... What's your relationship with this man? Is it mutual and everything? Because if he's treating you poorly or anything, I will personally gouge his eyes out. No offense. He's treated me better than you have. In the last few months I've been with him, he's treated me far better than you could have ever possibly have done. Insight. Go on. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was gonna say. I'm. I'm gonna like, because uh, I'm standing near. I like uh, brush Glory's tail with my wing, like trying to get her to look at me. Do because you're touching my tail. That's really weird. <laughs> I... <laughs> and when she turns to look at me, I'm looking straight at Elise, but I don't say anything. I I nudge the cleric and I say, "Excuse me, guys. Forgive my indulgent cleric." Could you cure her of any charms or anything? Just in case. Um. Insight roll. I know. It's been made. She seems genuine in everything she says. Cleric, then can you. She hurt, then. I she can't again? get rid of a charm. I've got less of restoration. That can get rid of charm. I'll, I'll try Lesser Restoration. Actually, I can cast that, never mind. I'll cast Lesser Restoration. <laughs> Sorry. As you reach over to try and touch her with the spell, she steps back for a moment, pulls away, and as she does, Gustav puts out his hand towards you and just puts it over your wrist. There's no need for that. There's no Thank need for much. that. Is I need to know whether or not she's being charmed by anything. If all's good here, I will sing your praise to the top of the heavens. I don't give a shit. If she's safe, I don't care about anything else. Make a strength this. saving throw. I know what that means. <laughs> a saving throw, so that's a... Uh... And Zero, you've noticed something as well. Gustav has always been a person of extreme charisma, of happiness, of joviality. Since you've come in here and started accusing him, he's gotten more and more agitated. And you watch everyone as he has his hand over Zero's wrist, pulls Zero's wrist to the table, and with his other hand, takes out his knife. <laughs> Zero, you take... Seven points of piercing damage. As Run well, up. you're now considered restrained. Oh god, the campaigns are blending together again. I'm gonna eat this donut now. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks back to everyone else. Now then. And is entirely ignoring the fact that Zero's even there now at this point. Now then. I scrape, my, tal I scrape my talons across the floor. And he keeps the, he keeps the uh, hand on the pommel of the knife and just pushes it a little bit every now and again. Now then. I understand. Zero. Before he continues any more words, I'm going to conjure a flame and say, Look, you little bastard. I don't give a shit about any of your politics. I just need to know my sister's all right. I don't he looks care up if at you personally angry. made a deal with Asmodan. If she's fine, I don't give a shit. And he looks up at you. And Elise reaches over and just caresses your face with her hand. And he... Show her. Show him how fine you are. She smiles at you. And says, I'm sorry, brother. I cast lightning bolt. That well, you can... Wait! <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. You can do that in one second. Shit! <laughs> As oh. she looks over at Zero and goes, I'm sorry, brother, but he did make a deal with Asmodan. She! <laughs> and from nowhere, you see a longsword appear in her hand. <laughs> Straight through it. you, Zero. Knew it. <sighs> Fucking. That was a 22 to hit. 
I need a constitution saving. Actually, no, there's not even a save to this. You take 19 points of damage, 11 slashing, and 8 poisonous. And in that moment, your sister, for a brief flash, isn't there. This heavily robed woman is no longer there. Instead, you see beauty beyond compare. Red lips, perfectly crafted eyebrows, a suit of full armor. You see these long red wings of feathers that are flourished out behind her. You see a horned helmet upon her head. And then she flashes back to what she was, what you've known her as. We'd hoped for so long that someone like you could be useful. Now you're just going to have to die, brother. I would like all of you to roll initiative. Do I get my attack off? We'll say that you can do this in the surprise round. Okay. You should declare that. Now, I need to do something very important. And get rid of the fake. And bring in the... I have advantage on I already, I already know what the I image is going to be. Yep. Oh, yeah. no. Theory. Uh, that can't be turn order. That's an Aaron Yes. Yep. It's that. Holy yep. shit. I know, right? <laughs> the minute you said, oh, go on. <laughs> the moment you heard their wings, I saw your eyes just go and just went, no. <laughs> shit, I have to clear the uh, uh, turn order, folks. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I can happily roll again. <laughs> no, no, you're choosing the same roll. Now, let me just make sure here. Okay, that's that. Plus, dexterity is that. So, she got that number. He got that plus dexterity. Wow. Somehow I did worse. <laughs> no, no, use the original roll. Oh, an improvement of one. <laughs> that yeah, my third roll was the same as my first roll. Okay, uh, that's that and that. <laughs> I take it back, I'll have the, the first one, please. <laughs> You're having the first one, deal with it. Thank God. Uh, so that's those two on their table, and now I must roll for him. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that, that... Wait, is that square there for everyone else? Yes, that, that square on me is oh, that, there. No, no, it's fine. Sorry. Yeah. So now I take I it, to... I know this, uh... This creature is, in fact, my sister. You are now realizing very quickly with sister. utter unapologetic horror that you never had a sister. Yep. It was her the entire time, trying to corrupt you. This innocent little soul she wanted. Also, just a heads up, guys, I could not see this. <laughs> yeah, I gather that your facial expressions. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, this is not what I saw. <laughs> you didn't see this coming? No, oh, oh. like, I, phys I physically did not I see this. I saw trouble coming, I did not see <laughs> its shape. Yeah. I, fi I physically did not see this, this was not a thing that seeing visibility allowed okay. me to... No, it did not. No, it did not. So, Roman, you have the <clears> top <throat> of the order. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want oh, no, sorry, Kira, you're a surprise round. Uh, make a deck save, then. Okay, so uh, how are you going to being... cast this without hitting zero, uh, during? Probably by jumping really high since I'm a bird. Okay, you being... fly up over there. Oh! Being that I'm on her Ooh. blade, and she's, you know, um, f probably very close to me, being that she just ran a blade through me, uh, can I shield her with my body to protect her from Kirok? Make your dexterity saving throw... And we'll say, depending on whether or not you succeed, you can choose to take half damage or try to help shield her. Cause... I'm going to make sure that both her rolls that's and his rolls... Save. Lightning that's bolts a... is a line. That's so just a dex check, so it should be really plus one, it. I suppose. He's trying. I'm just going to yeah. let her try. He can no, try. No, no, it's a 13. I also take it that this would, yeah, this would also hit Gustav from this position. It's very close quarters. <laughs> Finally enough. That's funny. So, zero. Uh, Kirok, do the damage. That's a success on you, a success on... My spell save DC is 14, he fails. Mm -hmm. uh, 
He fails, yeah. Zero fails. Um, Zero, you're okay, going to take, take full damage from him? Yeah, I'll oh, take no. full damage from it. I'm going to eat it. She already had resistance. I'm going to eat this lightning bolt for her. Of course you would. <laughs> so, uh, she takes, we'll say, 12. Gustav seems to have taken no damage. Great. And I take... As Gustav ducks down out of the way. And you take the full damage of 25, my friend. Uh, I'm going to be then. lightning bolt and unconscious, but as I fall sort of limp onto her, I'm going to say, just... <laughs> you don't really know me, do you? I'll protect you regardless of who you are. And then I just fall slump to the floor. Okay. Now it's her turn. I'm sorry. Yeah, she has a 17, bitch. I have a 20. I have a 20. Yeah, oh, you, he has you, a 20. Fuck, you sorry. just skip me. Sorry. Time. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. My bad. Kirok's turn happened. I thought. Yeah, mine was my a bad. surprise round. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so now it's all well and good. I'm going to start moving things onto the uh, proper map from outside. Why, why, why would you do that? We, we, we don't... That, that. So... The... So Zero, or not Zero, but uh, Roman, it's now your turn, my friend. Um, I'm going to cast Hex from the Ring. On? On the Aaron Yes thing. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, so... Uh, hex. Okay, that. that does, I don't know why it should be spoken. Anyway, um, and I will do it for uh Dex. So she okay. can't stealth and shit. Well, she's in full armor, so I don't think she'd care. All right, so that's your bonus action, Hex. Now, what do you want to do? Uh to Eldritch Blast from the fingers. Pew pew. Go on. Oof. Well, the first one definitely hits. So the roll your damage. I need to check. Yeah, go ahead, roll the card. Uh, D4. D6. Funnily enough, the one thing that would have probably turned on you if you had done this is now a con. Say again? The one thing that would have probably tried to stop you is the unconscious. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, that's your turn. Anything you want to do? Uh... No, that's it. I believe it's... Okay. Oh, no, it's her turn. It's her turn. Gonna... Yeah, so she pulls oh. you... I had the 19, she... sorry. You have a 19? Yeah, my first yeah, he roll was a 19. Yeah, he this turn yeah. order is not in order. There we go, <laughs> much better. Now it's you. Okay, am I surrounded by Varys, Gori, and uh, Kirok yeah, right now? Yeah, all your friends are around you currently. Okay. I am going to cast Magic Circle. What's the what's the cast time on Magic Circle? Cast time one minute. Shit. Shit. I will not read that. Go it's on, the most damn. important thing to read, my friend. Yep. Oh, that's basically Otherwise, you. that spell will get used a lot more. <laughs> Uh, of course it would. Damn, why did I prepare that today? Yeah, um, no, Ma Magic Circle is basically, if you know you're going to go up against demons or fey or anything, you basically yeah, make that first. you're trying to somewhere from it. Yeah. Anyway, what would okay. you like to do? I'm not going to do that. Okay. That <laughs> Don't worry, guys, it's ten turns there, fuck! <laughs> I'm going to yeah, hold like... person. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to hold person her. Cast whole person on her? Yeah. Sure. No, I have. Okay, so as you try to cast whole person on her, it has no effect. Oh my god. Because she's not a humanoid. No oh, shit. That was me. Read your spells! Uh, <laughs> I'm good at reading my spells. Dungeons and Dragons! Okay. Uh, shit. I remember when Roman went, I'm gonna cast a whole person on the giant. 
the giant <laughs> looks at you, not being okay. a person. It wasn't cast toward person. It was Fight. crowd of was madness. Just, Thank you very much. In Bye, that Dada. case, I'm going to use my bonus action to shield the faith zero. So he now has two bonus AC. Cool. I help. Yeah, <laughs> you did, buddy. So now the Aaron, yes, pulling her sword from his body, looks to all of you, and looks over immediately to what she can identify as the most holy individual in the room. The wings flash out, and she flies over the table, over zero. Sword out, long sword out, and it's going to swing down onto you. So she's going to make her three attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a uh, 20? Nope. And... Well... That's not Those good. are two natural 20s. Oh my god. For fuck's sake. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Thankfully, you've resisted the poison. So I do. Yay! <laughs> so, instead of taking 25 from one, you take... I'm gonna let you know, I'm just doing the poison first. So, instead of taking 25, you now take 12 from one attack. And the other attack, you take 15. So, you've taken 27 from the poison. Now you take 25 total from the slashing. The first attack didn't hit, the other two definitely did. Ow! Yeah, Aaron yeses are not to be fucked with. That's I'm why I was really nice. curious. That's why I was curious how this fight would go. So, that's your turn. That's what she's gonna do on hers. And... Death saving throw? Now it's your death saving throw. Bear in mind you are poisoned, so now you have one fail. You're you're instantly dead? No, he has one oh, no. failure on it. That's one success. Now one success. Now one success. No, I mean like he's Think... down? Yeah. Oh yeah. no. She oh yeah, he's unconscious. Gutted him. She got okay. him and then he's I had a lightning he, bolt to Yeah, that. he got run through Question. and then threw himself uh, into a lightning bolt. Question. Question. Um in regards to saving throws, does aura of protection come into um effect? It is with, particularly uh, called a yes. death saving throw. So I will allow. Because right now you kinda need it <laughs> until someone shows up. <laughs> right. He's within ten feet of me. So Yeah, he's in ten feet. So I retract my I helped because I did not know you were doing. So that is technically no, still plus a... two AC. I guess. That's technically a 14. Wait. Oh, do you have succeeded. plus 2 AC? I need a yeah, constitution saving for all. You still have plus 2 AC. No. From the damage total from one of those attacks would have been higher. Oh. Any okay. one of those attacks would have been higher. No, you I broke those two. down. I broke those down for the sake of math. But what you would have taken from one attack would have been 12. But would have also have been... 25 plus 12 would have been 27. That'd be at yeah. least 13. That was the lower half of that man, no. Alright, nope, no AC. Oh well. I had two AC for like half a second. <laughs> for Good half turn. a second you were safer. <laughs> Good turn! <laughs> so Zero, that's your death saving throw? Yeah. And now it is... What did I mean? Oh yeah. It's not Flory's. It's not Ash's turn. Gustav. As he looks over... Gustav just... Undoes his sleeves a little bit, looks over at Varys. She's got the other one handled. Now you're definitely not going to get up after this. And points a finger out to attack. Oh god. Uh, the, the, the spells, spell list. Uh, there it is, cancer spell. Very slowly <laughs> describing it as I go, there we go. trying to give a spell. It's not things. my character sheet. I had to double check what level it was. <laughs> counter spell. Okay, um, what level counter spell do you use? Gonna use the highest that he can, which is four. Okay, so what are the rules of counterspell? The DC I is equal to this. I don't have counterspell. Okay, so what you need to roll is roll me um, your spellcasting ability. So roll a d20, add his intelligence, add his proficiency. Okay. See whether or not you succeed this. I hope you do. Nice. Oh, you do. Thank fuck you do. Nice one, Varys. <laughs> because even if he succeeded the save, that would have been him. So, you watch as this energy, this dark, cold energy, almost like an anti-energy, just 
Would I have known what it was? But as it does, it stops. Countered. And you would be aware now, watching it, Roman, he was trying to cast Finger of Death. Hey, I've done that before! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I counterspelled a Finger of Death! <laughs> Congratulations! I'll write that off the bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> Cheated! Mark that achievement gained. Cheated death. Welcome to the world How many of points Barrett's do I get Ballerin. for that achievement? <laughs> <laughs> and you watch as for a moment arcane energy flows through his body. <sighs> Enough of this. And he throws out another spell. This time it's like this open hand gesture. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six people currently standing. Frick. That's Sorry, sweetheart. I pointed at you as number six. Yeah, I'm not I'm not in the cone. No, you're not. I was choosing who I was gonna cast this on. Oh no. As you watch as he reaches over towards you and just moves over and puts a hand out and just puts it up against your chest. As he does. I require a wisdom saving throw. Uh... Uh, right. Just triple checking things. Right. I don't want to uh, call it before you've rolled today, but this might hinder our plan slightly. <laughs> I need to make sure of his, uh... DC. Ah! DC 15. So he does not cast Bestow Curse on you. Oh, good. Please, no more curses in this family. And then, this is story. I'm, I'm, to this I'm a great remover of curses. Not of his. This is high tier shit, boy. Sit down. God fucking damn it, Das. Just Ash. let me fucking. <laughs> just let me feel good for a second. Ash, you're up. Shut up before I steal your money. Okay. <laughs> I have a plan. I have a plan. Um, you have a plan. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I have a plan. Um, first off, as my main action, I'm going to turn the Faithless on the Erin, yes? Okay. Cast that out. Um, it's um, a channel divinity thingamajigger. Okay. So Thing what will be the DC of it? What will be the saving throw required? Uh... As an action, you present your holy symbol, and each fae or fiend within 30 feet of you that can hear you must make a wisdom saving throw. Eee! Paladins! On a, fa on a failed save, the creature is turned for one minute or until it takes damage. A turned creature must save it, spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to its face within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the das- uh, da, uh, das- The das <laughs> action. <laughs> That's action! That's your new username on everything now. Murder! <laughs> That's why I'm a player fighter and everything, I do a das action surge. Hey. <laughs> So what it is the... can only use the dash action to okay, try Okay, sweetheart, I know that part, but what is the DC required? Is it a wisdom? Wisdom. Okay, so I have to do one for this guy. He fails. I have to do one for this guy. These are not in the room currently. That also fails. Her? She's fine. Of course. Fucking shit. Okay. And I still Wait. have a bonus action. Do they make that with disadvantage or not? No, no, they don't make it with disadvantage. So she has. Say. They all have advantage on it, so their first rolls were everything, so hers is fine. But um, okay. as my bonus action, I will prepare. Uh... If this works, thank you very much. Um, branding smite. Use. Okay. Uh, so next time you hit, you will be able to do that. Yeah. So at the end of your turn, it is now glories. 
Oh, shit. As you hear Gustav me, just shout out. Wake him up! Get him in here and finish him off! And you see the poor cause. Up. And as okay. his voice echoes out, you hear... Oh god, it's the popo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being, I'm being uh, really cheeky. I'm I know sorry. You're sleeping on the couch is. next time I come over. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do I even have any idea what that noise is? You do. Dude, you heard this howling. Head. You got. You heard that howling multiple times. Oh no. Dude, it's my bed. You're the one on the sofa, man. <laughs> Can you guys have a domestic some other time? Yeah, seriously. Like, <laughs> come on out. Um, I'm he just gonna go. Really. Okay, this might not be a good idea to stay in here. Someone get zero. Um, shit. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I love doing this before your turn because it throws you entirely off. Yeah. Thanks for that. Uh, I'm gonna take a swing at her. Okay. Yeah. Just the single a swing? Yeah, that's the single. That does not hit. That's fine, because I'm moving. Bye. Hello, fucko. <laughs> <laughs> there you okay, so she's going to use her reaction to stab at you. She cannot, because I took an attack at her and I have mobile. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I can use sticks for a reason. I'm used to the shit on rogues. <laughs> okay. Not fighters who are like, Don't fucking hit me, I'm going this way. <laughs> I'm like, I got a target, get the fuck out of my way. That does hit. You just stab forward with it and he's just, just It's just blood just pick him up, baby, go to destroy people. <laughs> and you did, you you certainly let a pound But I'm just gonna be like, yeah, someone gets zero up, we need to go. <laughs> As you say that he looks up at you. You're not going anywhere. And reaches out a hand at you. That's not going to use his reaction. Son of a fuck. And Glory, you recognize this. But you don't like casting it. Oh, son of a oh. dick. Which one? There's three. I'm assuming oh. it's the second one. Uh, I would like you I to him. make a uh, dexterity saving throw, please. I was gonna do this Hellish. by hit him, but I don't think yeah, this works. She like comes that. into effect of I, my. I mean, um, technically, you're taking damage. She comes into so it's an attack. effect of. Uh, so you will only take. My yeah, own, no, she no. she succeeds. She succeeds. Yeah, don't worry. I was gonna say that. Um, I was going to say that she comes into effect of my aura of warding and my aura. Give you an idea. That, and I have fire considering resistance. You yeah. currently succeeded that. And then the damage got halved from resistance and half from that. So you took, instead of 15, you only took a measly fucking. Actually, death. Three. One reaction, which is, which you res take in response to being damaged by so a you creature. You could, if you wanted to, use your reaction to hell as your no, beacon back. Hold off on that one. She hasn't been damaged, though. He just yeah. did. Yeah, I just took three points of damage, but I'm good. I'm going to hold on to that. But. Thank you for clarifying that rule. Would you like to do any action search while you are currently got him in the corner? No, I'm going to hold on to that for right now. I've learned that that can be a good GTFO technique. <laughs> so, yeah, it's great. Hellish Rebuke. Hellish Rebuke. <laughs> you guys watch as, at the end of Glory's turn, the ARNS looks irritated. Enough of this. I'm ending him. And as she does, she swings the sword back over towards where Zero is, aiming for the throat. And as you do, you're... <laughs> And suddenly, just a shadow just turns into this massive form, and uh, Kyok, you muted. <laughs> and as the sword's coming down, her longs is coming down, you watch this great sword swing up, <laughs> almost shattering the sword, blocking it back. Yeah! And now, in this bloodied golden armor, tarnished, disgusted. And now you hear the sounds of bones writhing and erupting from the ground outside. I want their souls! It's about time! I he wondered when 11. you were gonna do something. He rolled 11 on the initiative. It's Batman. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> and now it's his turn. So oh, now with God, Blood Drinker... Head. Now with Blood Drinker, he's going to I make... I only wear black, and it's sometimes very, very dark grey. 
<laughs> fucking hate all of you. He, he's totally not a vampire, right? <laughs> totally. Guys, anyway. please stop. We have okay, enough yeah, trouble sorry. coming on. I'm way. just gonna like take him away now. I'm gonna take away the toy. No, no, You're no, not no, gonna no. have it. <laughs> sorry. So now with Blood Drinker, he's gonna swing twice at the air and yes. That was a 25, and that was a 35. He's a warlock! Oh wait, uh, he... The Brutal Count. I forgot I gave him that. He has advantage on all attack rolls once he comes out of his bat form for one round. So that was a natural 20. Oh, <laughs> yes! So he brings the sword up to block, stabs forward once, and almost goes for a beheading on the second strike. Not even waiting in this brutality. The first attack was 19 points of damage, 6 of which are necrotic. The second one is 14, 32 points of damage, with 14 being necrotic. So let me take a look at this. That was uh, minus 9. And now minus 18, 23, 32. Suddenly, the Aaron Yes looks a lot more defenseless as Vlad strikes forward, puncturing through the armor, and you can actually see that he doesn't go... F he, he's aiming for the heart. But she pulls herself to the side and actually goes into a rib cage, and you hear the bone inward as he pulls it out, and he goes for a beheading strike. She raises the sword up just enough to block, but the entire vibration of it brings it down, and he still manages to, just before she pulls away, slice at her neck, but only cut a bit of it, so he doesn't fully the header, but he cuts about, say, almost an inch of flesh is just opened as this black blood is just pouring out. And then he looks over. And I have not forgotten about you, Gustav. But I'm dealing with her first. And just draws the great sword up in a ready pose. I, I would like to say, because of this new dynamic lighting that we have, all I can see outside the, the area and just see a spine devil and something on the edge just like yeah I can I, I can see slightly more than that and it's not a, a nice sight I'll be honest right right <laughs> but you know what you're seeing <laughs> as you now hear yeah is it what I heard earlier and you see ding, 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 as arrows and spears are being thrown about and you hear <laughs> as what sounds like a larger creature one that you might have encountered before Engaging smaller, skeleton-ish creatures. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. I, yeah. I was about to do a spook thing yep. there, and I'm glad I didn't. Good, because I'd have killed you. Right, so that's the end of Vlad's turn. I think we've started a turf war, question mark? <laughs> I Maybe, I there was a yeah. turf war at the beginning. Yeah. I think we're, we've, we're just we've giving been it a been... helping start. <laughs> you haven't started and, and you haven't started one. You may have very well helped end one. <laughs> sure. Right. right. Oh god. This is a very small room. I don't like small rooms. I don't know what you're talking about. I fucking love small rooms. <laughs> uh, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> Just looking at all my high level spells, AoE, AoE, AoE. <laughs> you hit me, it's not the end of the world. Uh, well. <laughs> uh, hmm. You need something that hits at least five foot. Otherwise, you're going to hit Nemo. I'm going to do something. Oh, yeah, that would be. Don't yeah, that, that. That's, the, that's my main issue at the moment. Okay, I'm going to do this instead. Uh. I'm gonna cast Storm Sphere out here to essentially block the door and catch everything on the outside. Yes. So if anything tries to come in, their movement's gonna be like halved with difficult terrain. And you watch as you throw out the damage. you throw out the effect, and you now see like thunderbolts crashing around, lightning bolts. <laughs> Against, and you see bone flying, you see devil, a spine devil just fly past <laughs> out of the way as you're just thundering everything. Um, Vlad looks out, eh, they were disposable. <laughs> <laughs> he can make more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's he's gonna be able to... Thunderbird. And after this, he's going to be taking a lot more. <laughs> oh boy. Varys! Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, blue. Oh boy. 
Uh, do, you, hey, do, do you want me to roll? Do you want me to roll any damage for anything that's in the sphere? It's a twenty-foot radius sphere, so it basically fills no, that entire. No, we're just gonna say that it's gonna be a visual effect for now. The battle outside is more just for flavor. Okay. Well, hopefully that'll stop stuff coming in. Uh, yeah. So I'm not. It's really like flavor. Damn, my spell slot. And now I gotta decide what the frick Varus is gonna do. Uh, Var hang on, look at his inventory. Hashtag. Oh. What would Varus do? Yeah, what would Varus do? Apparently, nice. apparently, Haste. apparently he doesn't have any health potions. That's annoying. I believe that yeah, somehow Haste. does not surprise me. And then do things. Oh, there he is. Haste. Uh... And blades. I would like to blade song. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be, blade song and haste. You can cast haste on somebody else. Uh, you can actually... No, I'm not. If he runs over to Glory, doesn't it go? Hey, Glory, would you like the hit stuff? Yeah, oh, Mighty he did say <laughs> you can make him do this to your characters. Yeah, because he usually being... Now, please picture the idea of putting Glory on crack. It's like Reinhardt getting on <laughs> Yeah, It's going to be the enlarged reduce all over again, but with haste. Yeah. <laughs> bash, 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 and you beat him into a <laughs> corner. <laughs> There'd be a hell of a co um, combo. Haste plus enlarged reduce on you. Yes, please. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, yes, I would please, hate that. Give it to me. K Kirok and Varys can get on that. Oh, God. Glory wouldn't like that as much as I OOC would like that, but that's fine. <laughs> Like that that literally would just be Hello, we would like to order one battering ram. We would like to order one battering ram, please. There you go. We only have it in red. I believe he can I believe he can blade sing on a bonus action, so I'll at least do that. I'm not hundred percent sure what blade singing does, so you'll have to It adds his it adds his AC. It is a thing you can click. Increases his move speed by ten. Increases his move speed by ten. And it gives him a uh, plus five to his AC because his intelligence modifier. Okay, I'm not gonna remember that. Um, I will remember. I, I'll that just me. I just know his AC off by heart because yeah. I try to hit him so much. <laughs> God, God Krauser, how do you decide to so do desperate. anything? <laughs> Wizards! Oh my God, there's so many spells. <laughs> Shitty wizard. What do I? I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess I guess. It, I can either I can either do the sensible thing or the attack. I can either help assist or attack, and I think I'll go with attack for now. Please remember how squishy he is. But he's also, he's also got really high AC. That's true. <laughs> so yeah, blade song, and then just haste. think. What would Krauser can, can do? you attack and cast taste <laughs> yeah. at the same time? I don't know. No. You can use the bonus action, bonus attack action from haste. But I've used my bonus action of blade song. No, no. So. But here's the thing. Haste gives you an extra attack action, but you can only do it to attack, dash, disengage, or dodge. Mm -hmm. So or use an item you use your act, yeah, or use an item. So what you can do is you can use your action to cast haste, bonus action to blade sing, and then you get an an attack for free. Okay, haste action. Haste. Okay, from haste. So he's gonna he's gonna do all that, and he's gonna come over, and he's gonna attack this guy. Rather than the Aaron Yes, okay. because the Aaron Yes is going to get an attack of opportunity as he passes through there. Okay. Sh uh, yeah, no. Like, shield as a reaction. Okay, so yeah, no, you're fine. So plus five on top of whatever it is currently. She tries to stab forward towards him, and Vlad just puts down the greatsword to block. Okay. Cool. And what you realize as well is when Vlad's fighting, he's not just using the stabby stabby pointy end as well. He's actually got great control in the fact that there, for example, he was able to bring it down and he had the handle. He pulled the handle in such a way, it's almost like you were sheathing a normal sword, but he brought it down to block her long sword. Like, like techniques you would use with the broadsword, but using it for a sword far larger. Hmm. And the sword is currently dripping with blood and you notice that he seems younger and more rejuvenated just for the fact that it has struck someone. Hmm. It would be hard for him to look younger, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm guessing I click this one. I, I click this thing. Point. I, I press it the button. Is it this one? <laughs> <laughs> Do I press this button? Okay, it's this button. That hits. <laughs> Someone sent K a message saying, "How do you decipher this character's character?" I know. <laughs> he didn't realize How he apologized. The what the hell is he this? Did, <laughs> he did apologize for that as well. Yeah. 
I know, I just like to rip a shower with him because it's fun. It's always fun to play. So, who is that here? What are you going to do? Yeah, then. I think that's everything I can do. I've done movement, I've done action, I've done bonus action, I've done hasted action. So I think that's everything you so, can do. At the end, at the start of the next turn, you just hear. As it just. You know what that sounds like, and the sounds are crashing and breaking, all just erupting towards you. Yeah, we need to we need to get out of this very small corner. It sounds like something that's probably gonna get stripped by a lightning bolt from that storm sphere. <laughs> and at this point you can now see just bones being thrown aside. Uh -oh. And oh, you God. see this massive face pointing through. But as you do, you see a familiar creature bowling in at the side and throwing it back over to the right. And you see that large back creature that Vlad had basically had hovering over you, just pulling away this large hulking creature now. Charging up against Gustav. Oh, that's a cute bat. Clearly, Gust uh, clearly Vlad has his own big pupper. Puppers. Roman. Right. Um. You know, that's just gonna be a, a flash of fear for a second, and then I go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it's gone. <sighs> Terrified for my life, and it's gone. <laughs> Right, um, baby, do I do just the usual Veldric Blast? Can't do a Fireball or a Wall Fire. Um, uh, technically, he is that, so I could use that on him. Or I could just say, Blast fuck it. Uh, Crown of Madness on Gustav. Ooh, that's fun. Which he has advantage on, so he succeeds. <laughs> Wait, what, what was the... One day I'll see that work. What do you have? I'll give you an idea, he had advantage on the roll. He right. a 7 and a 20. Damn it. Motherfucker. Anyway, okay, <laughs> you um... You are so... <laughs> Mim is pale. Wow, why don't you use it? Damn it. <laughs> Better fly. Um, uh, bah, bah, that's a second level spell, so I can't do anything as. Or no. I can do anything below a second level spell as a bonus action, right? Or as long no. as the spell is a bonus action spell. Right, yeah. Um, uh, I think that's an action. But funnily enough, you yeah. can't actually do that because Warlocks always cast at the highest level possible. So if it's like a. Unless it's a cantrip? Yeah, unless it's a cantrip. So if it's a bonus action cantrip, go nuts. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, uh, um, yeah, I don't have a bonus action cantrip, so uh, that's all I can do. Cause... Cool. At the end of your turn, uh, it is going to be Gustav. As Gustav is going to act out of turn using some sort of fiendish um, favor. It's a legendary action? Hmm? Fucking hate devil. No, demonic contract. Something from his contract. Just sign the contract. And you watch as he looks oh. over <laughs> at you all. This cold energy just begins pulling up around him into his hands and he just lunges it out hitting everyone in the room everyone? Uh, what save am I making? is this a deck save? because I think I know what this spell is this is a constitution saving throw kids yep. right no pressure but we all need Yay. to do this Kirok you're muted <laughs> that's not good oh goody oh wait whoops wrong one Yes, continue Dang with these now 20s, please. That doesn't count, Roman. Damn it. Sorry, bud. Different roll. That's still fine. <laughs> still good, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roman and Varys still need to make them. I, I've made mine. Oh, no, sorry, not Roman. Uh, Varys and uh, Zero. Yeah. Zero would get to save. Uh, whoops. Second one, was for, is second one is for Varys, because I. No, not think. if you're unconscious. It's, uh, it'd be a dexterity saving throw, you'd be fucked. 
Because you can't do that, but your body couldn't actually resist it. So go ahead. Is this like a poison, sorry? No. Nah. Hmm. I have a feeling I know what spell this is. I think we've said this uh, one. Barris? Varus rolled the 19, yeah, um, sorry. Yeah. Okay, that's his roll, yeah. That's okay. his, mine's the 12. So, anyone who rolled above a 15, 15 or above, take 16 <laughs> points of cold damage. 16? Yeah. Anyone who rolled below, take 32. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't really need to save, it's just No, nope, that's one death saving throw again. You are now yeah. on two death saving throw failures. That one success. That's okay. Hey guys, I'm looking <laughs> rough. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like, right now, we're fucked. <laughs> Oh yeah, shit. Also, I'm still okay, so don't worry about me. Even though I failed that roll. So oh, well, no, I still would have had it. for Varus. Do it in! It's your okay. turn, day! I've got a plan this time. Have Does you it read your spell? Healing? I read my spell. <laughs> okay. Want to be sure. God bless, you can learn. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna move around this lady. I'm still gonna stay in range so she doesn't stab me again. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna use my bonus action to healing word zero. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just picturing you doing this, and Ash is behind you, over your shoulder, going, Thank so you! So that's five plus three because You're of my... You're doing my kill! Thing. So you heal for eight. Yeah, you heal him for it. And then I'm gonna Thank cast you. Death Ward on him. So next time he goes to one. Kill him. Or any instant kill thing. Yeah, brings him to one instead. Yeah. So zero, you are brought back up to your feet, boy. Does that reset all my death save stuff? Yep. And then I'm gonna oh, slink oh. back around in front of Kirok again. Hi. Hi. I'll heal you next turn. Bad. Okay, if I'm yeah. if I'm still alive next turn. <laughs> I just it's stand now. Somewhere. Oh, don't forget because you, you heal someone like else. Ellie. Did you heal someone? Oh, I heal. I heal too. Yeah. You heal too. Remember that, because now it's someone else's turn next. Yes. If you need <laughs> healing, let me know. Ah. I currently have a burning need ah. to hit somebody. <laughs> that pun is terrible. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the two of us. The, I think the two of us over here are about to get shish kebab. So now with her three attacks. Jesus. One is going to be made on Jiren. That is not enough. That is not enough. That's a 25. So, Jiren, considering you take half damage, you will take s totaled 17 points of damage, eight of which are poison. That poison has already been reduced. Okay, that's fine. I'm a 19... You're on 19 health? Yep. Don't, don't you get some healing when you heal somebody else? I did. You did. I, I just did. backed that okay. in. I got that. Because I thought to myself, am I that much of an asshole? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, that's... That's my turn. I just looks over to zero. You're gonna let them kill me now, aren't you? I loved you. Zero, it's your turn. Uh, can I whisper to the DM? Fucking bitch. Message it to me. It'd be easier just to talk about Okay, hop down. So, current morale. <laughs> can I can I use this half, half second off. to half. shout out? My, I, my sister started trying to make plans with me and I said, can we just wait a minute, one of my party members is dying and she's like, fuck, no problem, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very close to single digits, guys, I'm not happy. Yeah, you need help. Yeah, so if I'm, you have I just me? If you're you fine. want me yeah. to lay on hands, either of you, just give me a shout because I do currently have forty. On, do, it, do it to Kirok. Do it to Kirok. If you, okay. you've got an attack prepared, so don't waste that. I'm, I'm gonna stand in this corner and hide behind people and to not get hit. I am gonna try I... as hard as I can to keep Gustav in this corner. As hard as I can. I'm if he has Dimension Door, I'm in trouble. You're I'm, doing I'm good worried, job, sweetheart. You're all right. <laughs> I'm worried that I have just cast Death Ward on a possible plot twist. That or is very possible. Keep the yeah. I think he already is. All he, of like, these guys he's gonna, dicks. he's gonna, he's gonna fight for that woman until he's dead. Yep. Anyway. 
You guys watch as Zero pulls himself back up to his feet, leans over and tries to whisper in her ear. And as he does... More so. She takes a sword, <laughs> strikes back with it at him. When are you gonna learn? You won't. That is... 33 points of damage? Yep, I'm down again. Nope, death ward. No, death ward. You're back to You're one. This time one. the sword is in your chest. And she's keeping it there. Okay. I am going to cast... Cure Wounds on her at level 4. Uh-oh. Okay, is that all you want to do? Is that the end of your turn? And I just say to her, <coughs> I'll never learn. Okay, at the end of your turn, you feel a very, very angry presence piercing into this, piercing at you from the side. And Vlad is looking straight at you. Make a wisdom saving throw. Me? Yes, yes you. you. Wow. Of all the so, times you could have times done with not rolling that. <laughs> I'm glad you did. I just looked at him and say, Trust me, if you hurt her, you'll be afraid of me. Make an intimidation check at the end of your turn. Was that an example of true love's nat 20? I don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> now you understand the fact of why this would have been a very dark thing. Tell me I had I would have said you would have in that moment, but again, you're yeah. trying to intimidate a man who's died six times. Yeah. Yeah. You also have a sword in your chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll be afraid of me! I, don't, I, don't think, I think it cancels each other out because I'm currently standing there with a sword in my chest intimidating him. That makes me pretty badass, but at the same point, he's died six times, so it's a cancellation. You don't give a shit what you think. <laughs> that would have been a lot more intimidating if I wasn't wearing my yummy sushi pajamas. <laughs> 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 I, never I, I would also, I would also I just like to look you. at everyone else and say, I would like to remind you, you took an oath! Okay. Uh, it's now going to be Ashk's turn, if I'm correct. It is Ashk, Glory, and then... No, sorry. Gustav goes before you two. So. He looks to you all. Well... And looks over to Vlad, I could always use an extra corpse myself. And points at zero. And you see the same dark energy. <laughs> Give me a constitution saving throw. That was good, you're good at these. I'm gonna let you guys I'm gonna let you guys know now. Kirok, do you have any form of reaction? <laughs> I think Varus would be the one to look for that. So long oh wait, we're on a new turn. Varus has reaction. Varus has reaction again. It's Varus. the top of the turn, or is it the start of their next turn? It's a... Actually, yes, because the end of the Varus's turn. Go, yeah. Here's how it works: you have a reaction before your turn and a reaction after your turn. Your turn resets it, so he's not reacted since his last turn, so yep. he can. So, yeah, Varus, Varus's Var 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 counter spell. Okay, so roll a d20. Add his proficiency. Add his wisdom modifier. Oh boy. Oh no. You guys watch as Gustav almost puts a hand on Glory's shoulder as he does and reaches a finger over and aims it at zero. Alan, you always failed me. I'm gonna use luck! I'm gonna use luck! His luck? Varus has luck! <laughs> you can reroll any roll. Varus does have luck! Varus has luck! Go ahead. <laughs> 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 As he's saying this, you see the energy begin to crackle at his finger before it. Oh god! Oh jeez! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I'm glad I remembered. Oh, 
I'm giving you bonus experience tonight just because you've been a good girl. <laughs> Kill me. I'm trying. <laughs> Going bars in here. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me with fire. He looks over towards Varus, who's been casting these spells. That's it. Oh damn. Varus, give give me an intelligence saving throw for Varus. Oh wow, he is a big modifier for those. <laughs> he does. Yikes! <laughs> Roll again. You have disadvantage. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, Damn. you watch as the feeble mind spell does not take hold. Oh my <laughs> sweet <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I'm rolling for days. Rolling for days, folks. I've I was thinking he's a really high level pack caster. Should I throw him at him? Sure. Now I should just do it more often, you cunts. Yes, you bastards. I'm glad I don't use intelligence for my spells. <laughs> Wouldn't it matter? You'd have still gone to one intelligence and one charisma. Oh god damn it! It goes to charisma. Yep. Yeah, it affects, ah. it affects both. And you cannot speak. You're basically an animal. With basic uh... instinct. But you so can remember his... who your friends are, which is really even more depressing. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he looks. You know who are friends. You know who are enemies. But that's about it. Yeah. yeah. He looks to you all. Oh, this has been lovely and all, but you're all starting to irritate me. I'm going to get my worms. And he disappears into a form of mist, and takes a misty step spell, and is gone. You might want to get that looked at, dude. <laughs> And then you just hear this blast from outside, and you see all these three skeletons are just blown back, just like bones are startled everywhere. Ask. Hookie, do I want to annoy a character? Annoy a what? Do I want to annoy you very, very much? If you want to try, you can. It's up to you. <laughs> it's just a character. I'm not taking it personally, but the, the character probably very much will. This, this is the thing. This is, this is, this is what I'm asking. It's your character, dude. <laughs> In character, you'll be P. Without character, you can do what you like. <laughs> you do you, but... Oh, yeah, you do you, okay. basically. Do as Ashk would. He's made Ask it very clear you've taken an oath, but beyond that, he's, uh, yeah. I've taken two oaths, dude. Depends which one takes higher priority than the other. Well, his oath was until she was aggressive. Until yeah. you felt in danger. So that oath is void. I don't believe I actually made that oath part of the oath. I said I don't know who's charmed, so don't attack until I know who's thing. I specifically didn't say who's aggressive because I thought they were charmed. Sure. Let's do what Ash could do. Though. Sure, this devil's been charmed by someone. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Ash could turn to the air and yes and says, Yeah, you've shown a lot of wax. I just heard you showed a lot of and then whacked. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is was, also what I said. Uh, um, what I said was, um, you've shown a lot of silly love. Just gone thwack. Go ahead, make two attack rolls. I sent K those two rolls, and I said, I had the caption, fuck feeble mind, and he said, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a miss. That's a hit. He just tweeted in all caps, what was that Snapchat? How dare you cast Feeble Mind? And that is with, um... um That's also because she's a medium-sized creature going to provoke a strength saving throw. Plus, um... Do you count it on the first attack, or do you count it on the when second attack? When you first attack? hit. You didn't right. hit the first time. So... Right, so that uh, branding smite is uh, void. Hmm? 
So that's no, no, it's, my it's whenever you first spot. hit. Then it whenever activates. you hit. Yeah. That's right. when you cast it. It remain. It remains right. on your sword. So sweetheart, to exclu uh, okay. Yeah, no, that that is actually how that works. So yeah. So now, if you want, you can um, perform a smite on that. No, you can only do one smite on, on one attack. Ignore me. You only did one attack. You only hit one attack. Never mind me. I, I just I just want to know if I need to roll an, an extra two d six for this radiant damage or not. If I do, say if, it would. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, roll the two d six. Roll yeah, the two d six. It, it will have still been active. When yeah, you roll two d six. Right. So that is uh, 24 points of damage. And it is now... Anything else you want to do in your turn? Um, I had an idea, but I don't particularly want to do that because um, that it's kind of useless to do. But um, what I would like to do is to cast Shield of Faith on Kirok. Oh, okay, what my, you do? That's my bonus action. That all you want to do? That's all. Well, I can move, but technically I moved to attack, so... Yeah, you're just there, then. I'm just there. Glory! Fuck, I exist. Hi. Um, shit. Fuck, what do I do now? Um... I'm gonna go to here. And join in... Is Zero still up? Zero is currently up, but being held up with one hit point by a sword. Gorish is going to look at Zero and just be like, I'm sorry. Miss. I'm going to try and hit the enemy. That's a hit. Second I'm one hit. I'm going to um, taunting thing on the second one. Wish is I that a wisdom once. saving throw, yeah? Uh, hang on, let me get the details up. Because I literally just decided I was going to do that. Um, wisdom saving throw, yeah. Since yes, who done. still hasn't written the fucking DC What's your down. proficiencies? What, what is the um, DC? It's, it's my strength, isn't it? So it's four. Eight strength plus proficiency. Six, seven. Fourteen is the DC. She is now focused on you entirely. Hey. And I get to roll a D something. A D8. A because D6. you use your. Oh, is it a D6? It is a D6 for me, because I don't have proper. And I add that to the damage, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Damage roll that ahead. Them. Roll that ahead. Also, is that a. Oh, no, it's four. It's fine. It's fine. I'm in. I'm sorry. I'm in hyper alert. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm like, we roll my ones. Add that. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> You're okay, friendo. Okay. Uh, since she went past me in such a way, that provokes an attack of opportunity from me. She would have been outside your range, yes. Um, and <laughs> I, yeah, I basically to. turn to her, and this is just fluff stuff, but um, basically he's just so angry at this point, he just, he just, his eyes flare up and you swear they go snake-like, and he says, NOT AS SORRY AS YOU'LL BE! And, um, he... <laughs> um, he opens his mouth, fork, tongue, and, like, that little hole that I it from him, and he uses poison spray on a... Because he's a warcaster, so he can use the spells as a reaction. Mm -hmm. Glory! Oh, can. You You're can fine. take... <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, wow. my brother. <laughs> no shit's given. Five points of poison damage. She doesn't take this shit lightly. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. At this point, his face for a second looked like it turned into a snake's head. That too. He's very pissed. Vlad looks at every one of you. I'm sorry, but I've got to go get my cup. And you watch as his form turns to mist. No! And, just... <laughs> and you just hear out, Hello, Gustav. 
And because he went from his form to his actual combat form again, he oh. does get to do his um, advantages. <laughs> we don't see any of this. <laughs> you don't, no. You sure as fucking hell hear it. Ow. There's a four dogs, this thing. So that was 30 damage. And that was 19. So you guys just hear, ah! as you just hear, from two sword attacks, and you hear the flumping of someone to the ground. There's just utter chaos outside of you right now. Thunderbolts striking, skeleton spine devils flying. And, uh, uh, Kirok. Something tells me we need to get out of here. Oh, God, yeah. I had a plan, I had a plan in mind, but both aren't great. I've got to be we'll honest. We'll take not great right now. Hey guys. <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to let you guys know that I'm going to go to the end of this turn and I'm going to leave it there. Because yeah, basically it's getting, late. it's getting late. So we'll continue this next week. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. You're getting... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll be starting on basically on my turn. Okay. You'll next be week. starting back on your turn. Yeah, next week. Okay, I think what, what I, I I know I'm going to do with my bonus action, at least, is because she is technically within range, but within 60 feet of the Storm Sphere. You're going to provoke a uh, dexterity saving throw? Yeah. She's going to be struck by a lightning bolt. What's the DC? Uh, this is an attack roll rather than a DC. It is slightly, okay. it is, it is slightly, it is slightly different. That's obviously not programmed incorrectly. Let's and also, which it means not Varus. Varus. <laughs> but I'd see you use two spellcasters. I don't even I don't, one. I can't for even a fucking reason. talk. Nice. Oh boy. So that damage is getting double, so go <laughs> ahead. Uh, how much damage is it again? It's... I don't keep the numbers. <laughs> it's 46. So now it's 86. That's a free lightning bolt. Go ahead, 86 lightning damage. That's a lot of ones, which I'm going to re-roll. Well, you can spend a sorcery point for each one you want to re-roll, correct? I can spend... let me double check, because I think it's a sorcery point for... one sorcery point for up to a certain number, I think. Uh, you can re-roll a number of damage dice up to your charisma modifier, which I think for me is plus three, so I can re-roll all of those. Cool, so... And it only uses one sorcery point, which is nice. Oh, cool. Roll 3d6, then. That's the fours. Yep. <laughs> Yay! Almost got exactly the same numbers. So, three, eight. So, 20 points of damage. Cool. That was the, the lightning strikes in, crashes against the side of her head, and you can just see her entire body just flare up for a moment as the wings, the tip of the feathers of the wings that are now have. The feathers have been thrown out. Um. She actually drops the sword in a moment, but then grabs it. The sword is just hanging out of zero. She drops it in the shock before it transfers to him. Not out of, oh, protect, more of a sh static shock thing, and before grabbing the blade again. And the tips of her wings are now burning. Ooh. <laughs> um, I immediately revert from what little snake form I had going there. and I'll, I'll On your like turn, I'll... you can. Uh, but <laughs> you'll, you'll understand this in a second. Oh, I look like I was ready to fight everyone in this room and everyone on the planet, but as soon as I see Kirok do that attack, I just, my face, my eyes just go back to normal, and I just look at Kirok and say, not you too, Kirok, anyone but you. I look back at him and I just go, I'm really sorry, and <sighs> fuck, I hate myself. I cast Polymorph on him. Okay, Zero, do you resist? Yes. Okay, Kirok, what is the saving throw for Polymorph? It's wisdom. So I'm Make not, very, I'm not throw. very hopeful about this. DC 15, if I'm correct. 14, because I don't think my Wand of the War Mage helps. Uh, it helps with uh, attack rolls. I don't know if it helps with DCs. I think it does. Uh, do I want to be that person? I feel like such a dick. Do we make, this, do it. make the wisdom do saving throw. She declared it. Uh, no, I've... Mm. Fuck, Farris uses luck. Okay. So I have to re-roll it, or? 
Yeah. Yes, you do. That's a fail. That's a fail. <laughs> oh, what do you wow. turn him into? Something small, like a mouse, I suppose, is the first thing that came to mind. He is now a mouse. And then I use my movement to scoot around the edge of the room and scoop him up. And put, put him also, inside. That's as you as Kirok or as Varus? As Kirok. Varus used his reaction for luck. Muted. Am I? Okay. That that's still in Kirok's turn. It was bonus action for the lightning action to cast and polymorph, polymorph movement to fly around the edge of the room and scoop him up as the little mouse. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, I'm so so sorry, I'm so sorry. Varus, <laughs> as, you, as you try to catch the ratty-looking mouse, um, the whole time as you try to scoop him out, he just tried to um, throw himself on onto her just to protect her, even as a mouse. Oh God. But but you have her grip, so kind of can't. Yeah, I put it. Yep. I, pu I put him inside Kirok's like bag that she has with her, just to sort of <laughs> pack him away. And the toilet, leave it. <laughs> Get him out the no, way. No, we've got Varus. Varus <laughs> that's the last thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, two things. Uh, the water of the war mage does not add to spell DC. It does, however, ignore half cover when making spells. Yeah. yeah my, with well, I do. I do that anyway because I have spell sniper. Why am I using yeah. this thing? <laughs> <laughs> and, Attack rolls, uh, that's fine. Did you say it was 20 damage for her lightning bolt thing? Yes. No, it's actually 23. Why? Whatever. Uh, I added everything up. It was 23 altogether. Okay. 2 then. plus 2, 4. But two. you need to remember you're taking away 3 ones. Yeah, I know. That's, I did. Cool. Sure. Ah, uh, Varus. Varus's turn, he's just come up, gonna go up and do all three attacks. While flanking. He does have advantage, as does everyone else here. Whoops, I didn't do the thing. Do roll them as advantage as well, just in case that's a miss. That's a hit. Um, that's ten points of damage. And as you guys are all encircling and hacking down this Aaron, yes. Elise Little, the once believed to be sister of Zero Alan Little. Vlad Sandoval chasing after Gustav Burke and a war erupting outside your room. That's where we're going to leave it for today. Ah! <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. I'm so hey, sorry! Oh, this is so wrong. Oh, zero, hey, zero. shattered. You have destroyed me. I'm so sorry! I just want to keep to you Nemo, safe! To Nemo I say, you're welcome for the shit you put in there all through. Hello, you're welcome. Can I, can I reveal what I was planning on doing? Blue beat me to the punch. <laughs> Go on. I was uh, debating casting command on Zero. Oh, if you made her, him hurt her, he would have even been worse off. Oh, um, God. Right, so that's where we're going to leave it, folks. No, Thank you for watching. Wasn't, I wasn't going to um, say, um, her, make him attack her. I was going to say, remember. That's all I was going to say. Mm. I was going to say, remember. To that would have been remember. very fun. <laughs> that would have been Mufasa. very fun. <laughs> Zero. Remember who you are. Uh, yeah. I Everything the light touches is yours. <laughs> Where are you going to call the stream? Chop at game tea. <laughs> we'll see you next week, guys. We're going to spend a week screaming. Bye. We're going to spend a week laughing. Bye. <laughs>